guys so this is kind of my first clip i think for the vlog and uh today's date is 20th sorry it's 19th wait it's 19th of march ah uh, i i literally forgot days so it's 19th of march today and it's lunch time and i was packing everything in cardboard boxes for the move and i want to show you my cardboard box so i'm just going to flip the camera and show you everything so there's a lot of stuff around so just ignore that so that, that's like the first box then over here we have the other three boxes so this is this would be stuff that you don't want to see because those are like my art supplies um basically i've just like stuffed it in i think it's a microwave box anyway so there are more boxes here um this is books too the one in the middle this is book 3 in the uh, monaco cheese links box and this is book 4 and actually just packed it right now with some stuff uh, basically you know i'm trying to utilize as much space i can and the plan is to basically unbox all of these four boxes once i am at my new place so that's that as you can see my room's a mess my bed's a mess and you can see that in the background but the thing is that um yeah it's finally happening i'm finally moving um there's a lot of stuff like a lot of more stuff to pack and also we we asking the uh, i mean of course the packers and movers will pack some stuff for us so i've kept those things aside like especially breakable items like they prefer packing it themselves cuz they are experts in that and the next thing i have to deal with would be clothes but then this vlog is just showing you my books and my moving vlog and stuff like that and yeah that's that so i hope to catch up with you i think in a couple of days when i'm actually like getting out of the place uh, so tomorrow also we'll be packing there'll be a lot of packing on going and um the boxes will go out on sunday so that's the plan but yeah that's that so uh catch up with you guys on 22nd okay no not 22nd sorry 21st okay i i really lost all my dates anyway 21st so yeah hello hi good morning so basically it's 21st morning right now and i am just waiting for the packers and movers to come now uh everything is kind of set up uh all my books have been packed I have already kept like stuff aside for the uh packers and moving company like the pack and also I have a lot of boxes like you can see there are a lot of boxes here box 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 those are my book boxes um yeah so I'm ignore the ugly curtains but okay cool so these are the stuff that I have here and it's going to be an overwhelming day I'm not sure if I'll be able to film like i'm filming right now when the packers and movers are here i'll just like put in montages maybe but then let's see like today is the tea day yay okay cool yes Okay, so I just wanted to show you my room because everything's been packed. My beds literally been removed, and this is how it feels to actually move. Like, wait, let me just show you my book boxes as well. These are my book boxes right behind, and they've also taped the art supply ones because I had not taped them, and these are taped by me. So yeah, that's that. Hey guys, so it's kind of like almost done. As you can see, they've even like taped things behind. And yeah, this like this is my sister's room, so that's also been packed. Ignore the ugly curtains. So yeah, that's it. This is it. This is the oh, by the way, that's how they up on the bed. Like that's the bed. That's the bed. So yeah. So um, they are packing like the remaining stuff right now, and I just want to fill this and. You know, kind of do a mari condo with my house because it's like I want to thank this place, thank this house for everything that it's done for me. So, yeah, like, <laughs> well, this is a YouTube channel and not a productivity channel, but still, like, why don't I just mari condo the shit out of my house? 
<laughs> okay guys so it's 11:37 right now i'm kind of on sanitizer duty and the rooms are empty all the rooms are empty my books are gone everything's gone um yeah the house is empty so i think like at 12 12:30 we should be oh, yeah. and yeah that's it this is happening it's real and i'm very excited So I'm finally here. It's tiring because this place is far off from where I lived before. But yeah, lot of stuff happening. So yeah. So we have a lot of stuff. Like basically, this, like those are our mattresses. Things are a bit messed up, but. We'll do this. Okay, we'll survive this. Hey guys, so it's twenty second right now, and uh, most of the chaos has like died down, but there's chaos uh, with respect to unboxing, and I couldn't like. Yeah, my mom's in the back now. So basically, uh, it, the thing is just that um, yesterday then I couldn't film anymore because uh, like at the a lot of like unpacking had started already. uh and a lot of stuff uh, had to be done so i couldn't like care of um a lot of things you know let me just like close the door and i'll be back okay so uh, uh, the door's closed uh i can talk how much i want right now so basically uh the thing is that uh if you remember in my previous uh house in the videos a lot of you must have noticed traffic noises because my uh balcony was overlooking the road the main road but that's not the case here so i've kind of moved from the city to the suburbs and this is super quiet okay and it's super quiet that it's creepy at times because i'm used to like um you know a very noisy night as well because when you sleep generally there are these high speed cars running or uh, you know these motorbikes because it's the night when the streets are empty and these people race to us why but basically like um that's when you know you hear a lot of screeching noises and things like that um in in the dead of the night and we are used to it right because it's the main road uh, anything is you know possible but over here that's not the case it's super quiet uh, we have a habit of talking very loud in general because we want to like um you know combat with the traffic noises but over here we cannot do that because if we do that the neighbor can hear us uh, the voice will kind of propagate outside the balcony that's something that we have to work on even i have to work on but i think like my videos will be more silent from now on because um if you can see like you know let me just show you like i'm also like on the uh uh top like the bottom most floor like i'm actually on the first floor and the maximum height of the buildings uh in this particular society uh it's called a society uh if you're confused uh, i see um it's actually i would say um five or seven stories it's not higher than that it's like a quaint uh huge area with a lot of families and like uh, the radius of the whole area itself is pretty huge so there are a lot of families staying here But yeah, like oh, there are people cycling and walking down. But you know, let me just like flip the camera and show you what's going on outside. So this is how it looks. It looks like a typical Indian society with slides and stuff like that. And there's grill outside because uh, it's the first floor, so grill. But also we have the AC. Uh, I don't know what you call it. The compressor here. Is this the compressor? I don't know. Like basically the AC box uh, for the split AC. and this is how it looks you know it's very quaint it's very silent it's very sound so you know 
um yeah that's that so yeah that's it and i'm not sure if i'll be like filming any unboxing videos now because there are a lot of boxes to unbox to like so one thing is that like the house did come with like the furnishings that we've custom built so this is like my desk area uh and you know so then behind you see the mirror and that's like my dresser and uh the thing is that the light over here is not like full fledged yet and that's why uh, the background has not been illuminated because it's like morning time but as the day uh, progresses you will see that the uh out the illumination of the room is like pretty good and yeah that's it and by the way this the thing that right now this tripod sitting on is my reading now so i'm excited for that as well because once everything set up i can like show you my reading book as well so yeah that's my uh vlog that's my uh, moving vlog so yay hey guys so it's uh 22nd march right now and uh it's 9 18 pm in the night i actually took a shower at 9 and that's why i'm sitting like this uh i have not been able to relax for the past two days simply because of the move uh like it started on 20th um or 19th per se but then at least 19th 20th uh, i was trying to like entertain myself a bit i could not read so i was painting but today as well like i'm not able to read much so i'm going to be listening to an audiobook i think i listen to interior chinatown while i'm painting something for a friend uh yeah so the thing is i just want to like find some kind of organization within the chaos i keep saying this but then you know like when i look at it internally it just gets a bit difficult meanwhile i'm not filming this on my tripod this is my phone stand so that's why the angle is a bit weird but that's fine so uh the last thing that i'm going to get to is my bookshelf before that i will be getting uh to everything else including my clothes i have to go shopping tomorrow because i have to um get some stuff like hangers for my clothes and things like that so um yeah that's that uh also uh you know i want to show you my bookshelf because my bookshelf is here but then i've stuffed it with random stuff which need a home over here uh, for example like these random mugs which i saved up because i thought i'll need them for stationery i have two of them left so because uh, i've organized the stationery i have my art supplies boxes open so i'm finally like going to paint i'm not going to like time lapse or anything but this these are my gosh 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 colors i'm going to be in something like i said for a friend of mine and um yeah this is my 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 way of relaxing today okay cool thank you so much uh, i will catch up with you i think i hope i think i'll catch up with you later in the night or i'll catch up with you tomorrow morning uh, i'll also take you shopping because this is a moving vlog and uh, meanwhile if you see those things behind me those are like storage items that i need to use up so yeah that's that and also this corner behind me is going to be my reading nook uh, I have not like uh, done anything yet to it like there's a lot of work that needs to be done in order to you know set that up but yeah I will be doing that work uh, down the week it's going to be a very busy week for me I'm on leave from work by the way so that's good but it's going to be a super busy week so let's see I'll catch up with you later hopefully later yeah two days later hey guys okay cool so basically um this is kind of the most important part of the vlog i feel because there is a lot of stuff that we have to sort out together and uh basically um as you can see i've already put uh, some books inside my shelf i unbox the boxes and i do have like a montage of that coming up after this particular clip and if you can see in the mirror that's like my desk so i have like books there as well and also um for the record it's 24th march it's 5 pm right now uh there are still a lot of things that we need to put in order and i am just wondering when will all of that happen but finally i state that i cannot live without my books and i have to live with them basically so here i am actually going ahead and putting my books back in uh so yeah enjoy the whole clip
so uh, before i start uh, organizing uh, everything you know uh, basically i will have to um, sort everything out i need to check how do i want my bookshelf organized and i'll be sorting out the books so what you see me doing next is sorting out books that i've read that i am yet to read and also sorting books as per their genre or as per their you know uh, author's name so i've not figured that out yet but then throughout the whole montage you will see what i'm doing and i'll try to you know come back in jump right in and show you what all stuff is being done so yeah let's go Okay, so here is an intermediate update. All of the things you see here would be Indian fiction and non-fiction. And I'm dedicating like one whole shelf to Indian fiction and non-fiction. And then we come here where I basically have uh, women's fiction and non-fiction. Uh, this is basically thrillers or, um, you know, I would say crime in general. So I have Karen Slaughter and Katha Christine here this would be works from countries that i'm interested to read and a lot of stuff here so yeah well this is my march work but i'm not read it so yeah yeah so i'm in the process of sorting everything out so i'll get back to you Okay guys, so I'm like super duper excited on how this is kind of turning out. So for now you can see like I can literally stack my books vertically and that's like a huge luxury for me because I can stack my books vertically. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, so basically like I'll just go through how I kind of organized it. I'm yet to um, go with the non-fiction books because I do have a lot of non-fiction books. But this is what it looks like for now. Um, yeah, like this, as you can see, you can see Hilary Mantle here, you can see Yaa Jassi, you can see Margaret Atwood, uh, you can see translated works there, and also uh, some of my international male authors. I've all also kept the Midnight Library out there, so that's that. And you can see that chonky chonky Vikram Seth right there, so that's that as well. So it's pretty much fun. Oh, also chonky chonky Ram Chandra Guha so yeah that's that so i love how it's turning out so far and there's a lot of space as well so it's pretty cool and the last thing that i need to put in would be my non-fiction books and then i'll be done so Okay guys, so you have to see how this turned out because I am loving it, okay? So I'll give you a, an in-detail bookshelf too, that's going to be a separate video. But just to let you know, um, that shelf has my thrillers and the books that I've already read. This has international male authors and including three books that I've already read and I really love and I wanted to keep it there. Um, this is the translated section. So this is um, not on the basis of gender. This is just there, basically. 
um, so it has Mao's Uzumaki, uh, celestial bodies, things like that. And that thing, that that one's children's book. Uh, again, it's by a male author, so that's why it's there. Uh, this one, this whole section is one of my favorite sections in this particular shelf and it's the female author section. The only book that I have read in this section is Homegoing and I've placed it here. Uh, but the other books are like up above uh, by female authors like you can see Rebecca I think, there's Sophie Kinsella, there's To Kill a Mockingbird, there are quite a few stuff there. And uh, this is my favorite shelf. I'm not even kidding you, I am so proud of myself. Basically, this contains all my Indian authors, read and unread, okay? So, I've read Jin Petrol, so I kept it ahead. But behind this, there are more read books by Indian authors. And these ones here, like The Annihilation of Caste, Super 30, Resonance List. So, I've not read the above three, but I've kept it there. But I've read the below ones. And, of course, my Vikram State, my chunky Vikram States here. I have two Vikram State books in print, so I have those here. I have two Cyrus Mystery books in print, so I have that here. Meanwhile, I'm planning to uh, host a group read for this one let me know if you're interested and also um shifa Party mehta is there i think i'll have to get the red book from there down here because this is my second shifa Party mehta and she like i'm up to date with her works uh, i have to read this that's all and then i have some mr viswas um the whole set here arvinda diga the only book that, like I said, I've read here is Gin Petrol and I felt like it's a good hardback to keep here and I like the book a lot. And at the back here, so this is very interesting, right? Because this is, um, so this, this stack contains uh, mythological fiction. Uh, so it has Ahalya, uh, The Chronicles of Hanuman and Sita Aina. And it also has books from Pakistan and that's uh, Babsi Sidwa and Mohsin Hamid and also Ziba Sadiq all of these are Pakistani authors and also The Music Room by Namita uh, Devi Dayal I think I'll just like pick it up from here and put it here because I don't know I just feel like this looks more symmetric now uh, but anyway so Rebel Sultans of course one of my favorite books uh, non-fiction ever historical non-fiction I love historical non-fiction so here we are then I also have um, On Balance by Leela Seth, Atish Tasi's Stranger to History, a lot of stuff here. So this is all non-fiction, uh, I would say non-fiction, Indian non-fiction, but then it has history as well as politics and society. So this is the cast of merit, uh, which is a new addition to my shelf, which talks about engineering in India. And then down below, so this is where we have like a lot of assorted stuff because I have non-fiction and uh, so basically I had put all of these books up above but I moved it down below and the reason I did that is because this is the chunkiest book in my shelf and that's Ramchandra Guha's Gandhi. Uh, wait, let me just adjust my tripod so you see. This is a theme. This is a theme. This is regarding India's independence movement. And we have remnants of a separation, Indian summer, which is regarding the last um, Viceroy of India. It's about Lord Mountbatten, basically. And um, India since independence, freedom at midnight, and then this chunky, chunky book. And wait, let me go here first. So this is my um, nonfiction. It has uh, nonfiction science, historical nonfiction. So it has um, Caesar's. The Ten Caesars, that is, uh, Kings in the Roman Empire, before Julius Caesar, the uh, book about Kublai Khan. Uh, then it has my non-fiction, I would say, I don't know, self-help, storytelling, I don't know. So basically, like, the last lecture and these Mitch Albon books. Then Mind Hunter, uh, which is actually a crime, uh, there's a TV series of the same name and I love I love crime series to it so yeah that's cool and this one is um, the happiness project which is again like somewhat similar to these books so that's cool and these okay so over here at the over here these are like my corporate um, nonfiction books which I really don't like uh, but I'm looking forward to reading the visual MBA so that's that but yeah here we go this is the translations list so uh, basically um, I think this would be posted in March itself or somewhere at the start of April and I'm planning to take part in the Lit with Indian Lit uh, Breedathon hosted by Sant Reads. So basically I have uh, books from the south. So this is from Kerala. Both of these are from Kerala and this is from um, 
Karnataka. Yes, this is from Karnataka. Oh, this again, Kerala. So, three uh, books translated from Malayalam. This is a book translated from Kannada. And this is uh, Ha Ha Hu Hu translated from Telugu. Uh, then I have my Eastern books. This is uh, translated from Assamese. And this one is translated from Odia. Uh, so, I've covered the East. And this is the North. So, it's Mulkraj Anand's two works untouchable and coolie and this is again north so this has stories from 1947 hence the theme and this has tamas uh, manto stories as well as train to pakistan so i'm not interested in reading manto stories from this book because they are not well translated but i've kept this book for tamas by bisham sani which i'll be reading in april so that's that that's like the whole set as you can see and then we move on to the bottom now this is not the bottommost one actually this is but we'll get to that so this one has my um series so i have the um what do you call it i just forgot the film and philip pullman series name um one sec his dark material series right right okay i i finally remember it and then my mario puzo series i've read the first book i'm not the other two but i really liked the godfather a lot so i have it here and then we have uh, the whole charlene had a series all the 10 books in the southern vampire series i mean this is somewhat like my guilty pleasure uh, if you've been following me you know this that i like the series a lot because it has a very nice strong female character although it has a vampire and a love angle whatever uh, but and then we have the uh, millennium 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 series and i've only read the first book i'm yet to read the other two books so that's that and uh yeah this is my short story collection so it's not like i don't have short stories above it's just that i may forget that these are the short stories i own because i have a resolution of reading one short story book a month and that's why we have this right here now let's move to the bottom most shelf i hope i can do this because Ah, oh, my tripod. Okay, cool. So basically, this is my art supply shelf. I do have more art supplies, but I've put them in the other shelf, like which is right there. You can see that. But um, these are the art supplies I use every day. So I have my um, gouache, acrylic. I even have my watercolor paints here, and I also have drawing papers. Um, my coloring book i have one more coloring book which i recently got from the basement bookstore and my this is my everyday sketchbook and all of these are my watercolor acrylic papers oops okay you saw that okay cool so yeah and these are my brushes basically like segregated very well very nice okay cool so that's that and yes that's it that's it guys and i'm just trying my best to show you the whole bookshelf so i'll be doing a detailed bookshelf to to show you what all do i have in a bookshelf so you don't need to pause and check everything but yeah this is it this is the end of the moving log and the main reason for the moving log was to show you this bookshelf organization okay so thank you so much for watching my moving log honestly it's been a mess up uh, the past for 3 4 days actually and this is what my bookshelf looks like i'm like super excited this is going to be my new backdrop it's just like you know the luxury of having a shelf where you can actually like place books in a vertical format that's just okay i love it i i just love it so the thing is that of course i will be following my book minimalism journey like i try to read more through um you know my kindle and stuff but this is exciting isn't it okay cool So thank you so much for watching. I hope you kind of reached till this particular point in the video. I know the initial part of it might have been a bit chaotic with people moving stuff and things moving around, but I'm finally happy uh, that today I could finally like sit, get this done, and it was like amazing. It was great. Okay, cool. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you. um in my next video which of my next video will be and whenever this video will come up and if you like watch so far maybe drop an emoji which says 100% because i love my shelf and it's like 100% like you know it fits all books like 100% do you get my point so just drop the 100 emoji if you reach so far so that's cool okay cool bye